my grandma fell last night. Speaking of hot rooms, she keeps hers pretty warm. Does she really? Yeah, and she fell last night. What happened? She's a geezer, so she falls she over sometimes. Yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to do an ollie in her, <laughs> in her room. That sucks, man. Yeah, she fell. She was fine. She was drunk. Oh uh, yeah, she drank a little bit. That was at dinner. Yep, that's. Uh... My mom was like, "Did you drink again?" So she falls, and my mom starts yelling for my brother-in-law to pick her up. He's out back vaping. He's vaping. He's vape life, dude. He was on the deck vaping. Dude, your fucking house should be the my new Roseanne. You should chaos. pick up the new Roseanne. Yeah, there's some fucking Arab in the back vaping. You live in a fucking sitcom, dude. My, my geezer, drunk Irish grandma fell, and my mom <sighs> yells for him. I was sitting there trying to watch the fucking game. I was watching Golden State Houston. My sister is on the couch, and she's like, are you going to go help your grandma? I was like, fucking you can help her too, you idiot. <laughs> I mean, I got up and did it, but it's like you're you're fully capable of picking up a 90, 96 pound fucking old lady. I mean, dude, you're in you're literally in a sitcom. It right was now. crazy. That's insane. Katie just didn't want to touch her. She, you know, she's a geezer. You don't want to touch geezers. Uh, that's true. But anyway, I picked her up. It's like and, grabbing a nutsack. And she rewarded me. It really is. <laughs> she, she gave what you gave her. She rewarded me with a $2 bill. What? Yes. <laughs> Dude, stop. For real. You seriously? Yes. She gave you a coin? She, no, a dollar bill. A, a $2, $2 bill. bill. Coin though or a $2 bill? A $2 bill. Okay. I thought she flipped you like a $2 coin bill. I was like, whoa. <laughs> There's no such thing as a coin bill. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she had like this, a special coin that was worth $2. No, nah, you've seen some $2 bills, right? Yeah, hell yeah. I, yeah. yeah. She fucking... Well, my mom's my mom's aunt, my great aunt, had, my mom finally had to put her into like a home. She was living with us and she had dementia and she was thinking that my mom... She had like, like a zillion coins and all these trinkets and shit and all this jewelry and she kept accusing my mom of stealing it. So like she would yeah. walk past my mom and be like, bitch, <laughs> yeah, thief. Yeah, yeah. And then like, so my mom's like, she kept like going at her, going at my mom, dude. So my mom was like, you got to fucking, you got to split. But we looked at it. She had like satchels of all kinds of coins that like, dude, she was stolen. I thought about it. Those were her lucky charms. I, she, dude, she, she was she, Irish, she, dude. Straight from Ireland, she dude. She thought your mom was after that's her lucky said, charms. That's what I said. I'm like, dude, that was, she might be a fucking leprechaun. She dude. was a leprechaun. I think she was. <laughs> so yeah, so my mom had to fucking put her out, I had to toss, yeah. Toss her. Get rid of this leprechaun. <laughs> they put hexes on you and curses. She was trying to fuck. She was trying to rise up at my mom a couple times. You think times. she was? She literally, no, literally wrote, hit the fucking. She was like the Notre Dame logo, <laughs> <laughs> like that scene in Gangs of New York when they clear out the tables. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got a sick video. I, I think the got? audio is going to work. So we were. This is later that night. I started playing on my dad's Alexa. Big Sean, I ain't fucking with you. This is a video. Yeah, my sister was talking shit that she always wins this card game. Uh huh. And I was like, you fucking suck at this. I guarantee you're yeah. going to lose. Yeah. She's like, I'm, I either win or I'm in the final two every time. Uh-huh. It's like, no, I am. You never are. So, of course, Wait, she... So, this is after you argued whether or not to pick is, up yeah. your grandma? So, then she loses <laughs> second out of six of us. She's out right away. And uh, so, I started playing, like, funny music on yeah. the like, like... Nah, nah, nah. Oh, nah. my God. I was getting, the place dude. was going nuts. Oh, you're like a surgeon for pip- oh. pissing people I know, off. I know, dude. I really was. She was actually really mad. She's like, You think this bothers me? I don't care at all. I'm like, You seem pissed. You are, like, if, if you could, if that could be like medical school, you'd be like that Tyus ranked cardiovascular neuro. You'd be like doing brain transplants without people But this is great because my mom starts freaking out because my dad was drunk and he was uh-huh. mad that Big Sean was playing. He was like freaking out, like to the point where he was going to fist fight. <laughs> he was so mad. And my mom started spazzing out. Like, yeah. To, she's like, "Don't bother Phil right now." Yeah. Leave. Stop playing. Let stop see, irritating him with rap. Basically. Let me see if I get the audio here for this. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> This one at the beginning, he's like, not in my house. <laughs> Dude. Can you please turn it off? Can you please turn it off? Dude. I hope that comes up. I, I hope the audio I works. hope it does, too. It's, oh, I can, I'll try to, I can even raise it yeah. up, too. Dude. Not in my house. Ha- Imagine getting that pissed when you hear rap go on and be like, my dad's the same way, dude. If you were to play rap, he'd be like, hey, whoa, whoa, come on. It's like, it's literally it's like, well, that song about. particularly I played because little stupid ass bitch, yeah, I'm I know. fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I knew that was going to bother my dad. I mean, I don't, a lot of fucking, that, that like really fucks up a lot of like 
50 and over white dudes here rapping, like, they get like, what the fuck? Dude? Yeah. That's like a real uncomfortable spot to put a 55 year old white dude in is just blast some like current rap, dude. That's like, oh my God. Like, that, that literally will distort their, that'll fuck their sense of well, the world. There's like, of course, there's sy- systemic racism. Obviously. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just talking... But it's also like you've grown up in a world where people don't ever talk like that. No. Outside of like the bar, and when somebody is talking like that, you're like, what a fucking jerk off that guy is. Like, my mom was like... Freaking loud mouth. I remember being little, my mom thinking like, Madonna was a bit much. That's how strict my mom Um, was. She did fuck Black Jesus in a music video. (laughs) Yeah, okay. (laughs) (laughs) She was pretty bad by today's standards. I forgot you did I that. I see that music video today. I I'm forgot, like, I don't like it. I forgot you did that. Yeah. So I remember my mom being like, Madonna is just blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, dude, imagine for me to like let her listen to Cardi B's new album about like how gushy her pussy is and like just like sitting yeah, on yeah, people's yeah. faces and shit. Like my mom's head would explode, dude. Phil, Phil that's, that's would not like pornographic, that. pornographic, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just funny. Like that shit fucks them up to hear that. And a guy is saying fuck repeatedly like that to such like a, a cool beat is just absolute mayhem. Hey, for- hey. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, not in my house. It's like- he unplugged the Alexa. <laughs> he doesn't know how to... He would come... He walked over to it while I was playing it and he was uh, like, hey, God damn it. Hey. <laughs> he had no idea how to control it. It'd be tight to have like a... Ba- like eventually have like a, a care facility for baby boomers like in 30 years from now. And you just put, give them helmets that have like headphones, so you could use that like a shot collar if they start wandering off the premises. It's just like all right, start playing big. I'm gonna Sean. hit it with some Tupac, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. "Oh God damn it!" <laughs> they walk back in, and it stops. <laughs> yeah, I mean Phil, he'll probably die. Uh, he's he's getting close. If he's getting he he'll, gets shit faced and he gets that angry, yeah, it's a bad combination. He's a big dog too. Like he's, <laughs> that's a, next big Sean could be the big one, dude. He could have the heart attack on that. No. Yeah, you got to be careful. Yeah. Really, like, as like a 16, 18, 17, like, you know, old to like 22, it's a, I, w- I will say that that has been like my, kind of like my moral map through those years of just being like, all right, Wu-Tang Clan, sweet. And like, these guys are cool. Yeah. DMX is the man. And like, I navigated with that mindset and was just like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, you, you, I can tell you're very influenced by Wu Tang and DMX. The way I was. you live, dude. Yo, bro, no, I'm still you. there, dude. You're a dog. I mean, you fucking, you're a rough rider. I'm a fucking, I'm a rough rider. You got dude. rolling, but, you're wrestling dudes. Hey, wrestling dudes. You got, you going I'm, to vibe, I'm, getting steroids. I'm a DM. I, I'm, I'm an acute DMX overdose, dude. That's what that could easily that happens. Summary or summarize my life. Should I play Big Sean in my dad's house right now? No, dude, don't do it. <laughs> I could, though, dude. I could. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're doing psyops against your dad. Yeah. Um. Then we watched the, my dad's big into the office now. Nice. So we're, I'm trying to watch the fucking game last night. And mm. every commercial, he can't watch commercials. Yeah. My dad's got a thing where he absolutely cannot watch a commercial. <laughs> That's pretty sick. It's a psycho move. I like that, dude. So he just switches <laughs> to the office. Every commercial. We'd miss, I'd miss like the whole third quarter. Oh, God, I hate, Watching dude. the fucking, like... A play episode. I mean, in I can't think the of the office. last time I shared. I mean, that's how I grew up watching TV, sharing a TV with someone. Like, it's like, holy fuck, dude! I forgot all about that. So the night before, I was there two nights in a row. Yeah. Last two nights, and the night before, I was like, I had the remote, and I was like, I'll give it back to you if you just don't laugh when I hand it to you. Yeah, just don't fucking smile or laugh, and I'll, I'll hit it because every time he reaches for it, I pull it away. And he's like, come on, come on, God damn it. <laughs> but he laughs every time. So, so then tonight, or last night, he did that to me. I was like, just give me the fucking remote. He's like, I will if you don't laugh. Oh, he's like, come hilarious. on, little Shaney. Come on, Shaney. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. You guys had to hang out. Me and Phil had a nice weekend. I mean, I forgot all about that, dude. Of like, dude, come on. You're, my show's on now. Turn your show off. Like, well, still, it's like, put the fucking conference finals on. Yeah, exactly. Stop watching the fucking office. You're yeah. 63. <laughs> Yeah, she's got it. She's sipped it, dude. She's got bit she's by got the WT it. vampire. Beautiful woman, dude. I love her. My dad comes from that world. Does he? My, yeah. So does my dad, but we tease my dad because my dad's always like, I grew up poor, right? And we're always like, dude, fuck you. No, you didn't. You're such a bitch, dude. He's so <laughs> yeah. funny. God, I would hate to have you guys as sons. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I catch myself every now and again where, like, everything he's he had like a mosquito one time he had a mosquito mm-hmm. go down his pants and i'm like yeah dude he probably thought it was a they found his fucking friend he was just like you know what you're a fucking asshole <laughs> <laughs> it's like everything he says dude he has like five people just fucking hitting him yeah. hard and you're you're 
yeah, your brothers are terrifying. Relentless, dude. They're very funny. Relentless, Billy dude. cracks me the fuck up, Billy's fucking up, funny. Kevin will get you. Tom's a motherfucker. See, I don't know Tom and Tom's Kevin. a motherfucker, dude. I do know Tom. Tom is really quick. Kevin will chill for a minute, then he'll come out every now and again with something that you're like, God damn, bro. You're so mean. God damn, bro. <laughs> you didn't have to do it. But Yeah, that's good. My I have my sisters are mean. Katie's become very, very dude, nice. Dude, I told you are fucking uh what's his face from Vice Principals, dude. You're Ross Cole. Oh, yeah. Not Russell, what's his name? What's yeah, his yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got sister bullying. Russell. I can't imagine the mind fuck that sister bullying. Sister bullying, it's never like, it's never like sadosexual or whatever. It's I didn't never, say that, bro. I, know, I didn't take it there. It's never like, you got small dick. It's never gross. <laughs> I didn't just, take it there, bro. Well, that's kind of what happens to <laughs> I know, Russell. I know. I know. But uh, <laughs> it's like... They, so they said it was fine. They were like, your dick's fine. They were both like, <laughs> well, one of them was in awe at first. <laughs> They're like, holy shit, dude. But no, it's like, uh, yeah, I think it is worse coming from a girl. Even yeah. if it's your sister or her being like, you got fucking bitch hips or something. <laughs> like something like that a woman would say to you. They know how to cut deeper on, on a weirder, more disturbing level. Yeah, like, like guys will... Your brothers are really good at it. They're so really that's good. A bad example. But they'll get you, and it's kind of funny and whatever. Yeah, I've funny. had like ex girlfriends and wives be like, just hit me on levels that I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Like, they'll, they'll like weirdly insult my mom in a way that like <laughs> yeah, makes yeah. me upset. And now I'm like, what the fuck? How about that time we were at D we, when we were at the Notre Dame game, and Caitlin was like, she wanted to go to like the pep rally or the bookstore oh my at like God, five. And I was like, dude. I don't want to go right now. I'm like, I'm not going to the bookstore at five on a Friday yeah. before a game. It's going to be horrible. And she was like, this is, nobody here likes you. <laughs> yeah, like, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. She's like, literally all your friends here don't like She's you. She's like, no one's laughing, Shane. Then no one likes you here. You're just annoying everyone. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, dude, I get that every now and again where she'll stop. Even my girlfriend now will be like, Matt, you're really not funny. You're actually annoying. You're an annoying person. You're really annoying to live with. And I'm just like... Okay. Uh-huh. I'm in the middle of like a weird impression of some like septa worker like, eh? <laughs> you don't like me? <laughs> you're doing a bit, you're doing a bit act out. <laughs> you don't like me? Yeah, that's They're fucking mean, dude. That's what I said before. My sister Sarah though is the mean She's one, a motherfucker. Dude. She's no longer even trying to be funny. So <laughs> this one time I think I might have said it on here, but she was hammered. She was fucking shit faced. It was at my high school graduation party. Yeah. So I fucking locked her out on the deck, just to see what she'd do. Because she was well, it's she, your party. She was smoking cigarettes underneath the deck, so I'd like go out and dump water on her. <laughs> and she's like, "I fucking kill you." <laughs> and then she That's came classic. Up, locked her out, and she, I remember I was sitting in a chair like in front of this glass door where I locked it. She just lowered her face right right to my face on the other side of the glass and just goes, "You're fat." <laughs> and then just walked away. I was like, "Oh my god." You just went and like trudged towards the door and opened it. Like, You're fucking fat. <laughs> Walked away. God damn, dude. Yeah, she was great. LaShawn McCoy was there and she screamed at him. Why? He was trying to sleep on the couch and my sister just full freaked out. Middle of the night. Everyone was everyone was passed out at the end of this party. Why couldn't was... La- LaShawn McCoy hang up? Wait, is it, who is that? The Eagles? He's the Eagle. He used to play running back for the Eagles. Now he's with the Bills. What the he fuck? He was sleeping on the couch. We were all happy. It was a great night. Yeah, dude. And then my sister just. My dad, my dad was hammered too, and he like tried to carry her. And he dropped her, so she was like, "He fucking hit me." He's like, "No, no, he didn't." You just see Lashawn McCoy pop his head up on the couch, like, "Damn, what the fuck?" He is just going hit on? the hole between them, dude, he, and busted he, he through. Fucking juked out. <laughs> Did that professional jump cut, dude? He was fucking gone. Holy fuck, man! Yeah, that was a fun night. That was a great. He, he, night. Lashawn McCoy woke up to what he thought was your dad tackling your sister. And was like, I'm having a nightmare. He's dude. like, I'm gonna be a pro bowler. That'd be dude. funny if that was like the town. first White House he's ever like slept. White House, not the White House, yeah, yeah, but yeah. the first White House he's ever slept over at, and woke up to like a dad tackling his sister and just fucking <laughs> hurdled over him. <laughs> just Heisman over him. Was like, I gotta do play football, dude. I gotta be more serious about my football career. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was a good time. My sister, yeah, she can be, yeah. She's like, sure. I, I remember they would come home drunk, my sisters, and they would just the God meanest, damn, man. the meanest shit on earth to each other. Dude, I mean, it's not like brothers like saying mean shit, like funny. Yeah, it well, was. It was every time it took it to the next level. Sisters are locked in really like serious competition on every aspect oh, true, of life, true. dude. Every aspect, and they're only a year apart, so it was always very. Y- yeah, dude, sure. it, it's total like. 
looks, grades, career, job, family, relationship status to where like I look at my brothers and I'm like, there's nothing that I'm ever like, I can't believe this motherfucker. And it's like, dude, sisters and they're, they really kind of. And they're lady brains, dude. Yeah, man. Because they have to dominate the other one. Like their dream is to like fucking have the wedding of the century and just be like, come, you can come, come. You can be my bridesmaid. My errant sister, come be my bridesmaid. Yep. Come give me like a weird speech of like, yeah, I'm not the best with relationships, but my sis here has it done. (laughs) (laughs) Every girl right now is wet, dude. SP 500 soaking wet. Listen to this, baby, dude. Shout out SP 500. Things like that. So they're like, let's just do this again. It's like, it's no making a murder. It's cool. You watch it, you're like, damn, that it would be. I've thought of this before. It would be sick to get like 12 of your friends and just all build houses right next to each other and just not have a weird cult and not fucking get it naked and scream in the woods. Cult. But you're not going to have 12 guys fucking hang out, you know? Fucking, yeah. you, know, you know all your neighbors and it's nothing weird and village like. You all have your separate lives, but it's like, that, that would be tight. <laughs> That's what my, my family had that. There were a couple, there's like a family across the street. There was like yeah. five houses that like we would all hang out. Dude. I remember when there was blizzards, we would all have blizzard parties. I mean, go to somebody's house and get fucking. Hammered? Well, they would. I would run around with the other kids because they chill. were all our age. You just your sisters would just haunt you, dude. My like, sisters were like, "Look at your bitch. fucking fat hips, you fucking pussy." <laughs> I do that for my girlfriend every now and again. If I ever make a mistake, I'll just stop and look at her like I'm such a fat fucking idiot, <laughs> pussy loser, <laughs> dude. Every time, just, I, do, I do that all the time. I love doing. I'll be it, driving dude. and just be like, "Fucking loser." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's such a fat. Fucking, fucking idiot. I'm so fucking gay, dude. Yes. I'm so fucking gay. <laughs> like, I messaged like, you today. I was like, <laughs> you were like, I'm running a little late. I was like, don't worry, dude. This is all because I'm fucking gay. That Dude, I'm telling you, that's been my the, the big, my biggest breakthrough for like my girlfriend annoying me about like she'll, I suffer from like her, her neuroses become my concern now where she's like, no, you got to hang up the shower, the little shower carpet every time you're done with it. It can't just stay on the floor. It's got to hang up on this fucking thing. It's actually thing. fair. It's fair, but it's like, you want that done, you hang it up. I don't give a fuck, therefore I'm not going to hang So now, like, when she bitches about me not hanging it up, I just stop and look at her, and I'm like, I'm such a fat, gay, fucking loser, and I run out of the room. <laughs> she laughs, I laugh, and it's just fucking, it works. That's nice. It's fun. That's nice. I'm going to try that in a real fight. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> in the middle of a real just fight. Just in the middle of a set, dude. If a set doesn't go well, just stop oh, like, that's such I'm a great such way. a fat, fucking... Bitch, dude. <laughs> when I was calling my dad fat last night, people were not having it. I'm like, my dad's fucking fat, oh, dude. He's part. such a he eats like shit. He's just such a fat fucking bitch. I actually dude. walked out. I walked out of the green room while you were like finishing that, and I was like, is he fucking shitting on me right now? <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear the dad part. I walked out. You're like, he eats like shit. What do you expect? I walked out. I was like, all right, dude. I'll fucking crush you for this. <laughs> No, I was talking about dribbling basketballs, and I was talking about warm ups, and how like I was like I crushed awesome. warm ups, dude. I fucking, you know, you just go down, run down, see your mom, like what's up, dad, and I see your dad, and you're like stop, my fucking bitch ass dad, and everyone's just like what the fuck. <laughs> oh, it was fun. Yeah, that's I used to say that about my dad crying. Be like my dad is so fucking gay, crying in front of me. I was like, you fucking pussy. Crowds, really? Crowds hate that shit. Yeah, they they don't like making when... fun of your dad. Crowds hate for the most part. The mo- it's, it's awkward, like. Sucking your dad's dick. That's when I funny. said my bitch ass dad, people laughed. I'm like, and I see you see your bitch ass dad over yeah. there. Uh, but they got they gave me an all when I said my dad blocked me when I accidentally hugged him. They were like, oh, that is weird. Yeah, I was like, now nah, I want to hug him, dude. I want to fucking yeah. Come to think of it, I, I I would get laughs when I'd be like, my dad was crying like a bitch. Yeah, people laugh. People at that. laugh at that because they realize how fucking they don't crazy. like making fun of fat people, dude. Whenever I'm like, yeah, he's fat. What do you expect? The crowd's like, yeah, bro. They nobody likes that. Ah, it's fucking funny, dude. You got to stick with it. I, I One through. time I did it, and it's still, people were not having it. I'm like, dude, it's not my fault, dude. He's That's fucking, like, uh, he's fat. He's just Callan, lazy. Callan kind of does that. Does he? Yeah. They did it in Veep. In the, in the, I think the third episode, third or fourth of the first season, when she gets assigned to talk about the obese, she's like, they're just fucking fat and lazy, and it's just <laughs> their fault. Dude, it's so fucking yeah. funny. There's a lot they, of people fat shaming. They pulled it off. Bill Burr, Fat Shames. He Fat Shames? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. I'll listen to that while I'm driving and be like, hey, he's right. I got to stop being fat. <laughs> then, I, you know, then Wings. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck yeah, dude, Wings. It is fun. Fat Shaming is fucking sick. Uh, dude, get, it's like... If it, I get Fat Shamed, I'm coming out swinging as hard dude, as I can. Dude, the nicknames... I was hanging out with my dad on Easter. Where, like, it was like my dad my uncles are all hanging out. They had a little like daytime fire going down. They're smoking cigars. And like dudes who were like 60... The way they grew up and like interacted with each other, it was like everyone had a nickname, and it was like your most personal flaw. And that was like this one guy. They used to call him the Hole 
Because when he was a baby, he drooled on an outlet and it shocked his face. So his lips were like, <laughs> he had like a he had, whole he had constant Donald Trump lips. Yeah, he had, yeah, he had like whistle. Yeah, he had like a pre-whistle face all the time. They would call him the hole. And they're like they all just. It was like instead of people ignoring your weird disabilities, they would just be like, "Oh, that's your nickname. We're just yeah. not going to pretend it doesn't exist. We're going to let you know where you stand. You're the hole, dude. Like you have a fucked up face. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's just so fucking mean. My grandpa had that face at the end of his yeah, at the no. end of his run. He'd <laughs> yeah. always just be like. <laughs> Like he was about to kiss. Yeah, yeah. All the time. That sucks. Yeah, I remember when he died. I I'm hoping to invent <laughs> something for Alzheimer's. I mean, it's got to come. I'm that's definitely how I'm going out. I'm going out in a blaze of just like cloudy, not knowing people. Makes perfect sense. I I think, I think I'm pre will, I'm pre Alzheimer's. My mind mind's is going to betray you eventually. It's already starting. It's the process. Already, the process already is already beginning. Dude. Prodding for weaknesses. The process is so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, you killed Bingo. Bingo, di- Bingo fell through the ice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Jingles fell straight through the ice. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, but your your family <clears throat> comes from the same white white trash stock. Yeah. As, like my dad's family was probably like, all right, well, that puppy's dead. Yeah, animal death. Like yeah, they yeah, do yeah. not, not give a fuck. By animal death. It's like my grandpa with the bag of kittens. Yeah, my the Gillis family had too many cats, <laughs> so we put a bunch of kittens in a bag and threw them in the fucking creek, and then it oh. hit a dam, split open. <laughs> and cats, you know, Dude, cats drown everywhere. That's literally from Blood Meridian, and like Same three thing. came back, and he was like, "These cats can fucking stay. These are fucking these are tough, good, good fucking Gillis cats." cats. Yeah. Dude, that's literally from the book Blood Meridian. Yeah, you said that. He, really? The book Blood Meridian. He there's like a little Mexican kid, and he's like selling puppies, and this guy, the general, buys them all. Ties him in a sack and throws him in the river. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, I found this out about my grandpa because it all, it's all starting to make more sense. Because every story I've ever heard about mm. my grandpa, old Francis Gillis, was just that he was Strong a psychic. Name. All yeah. he did was fight people. It's all he did. Yeah. Like every day, every story I've ever heard of him was him freaking the fuck yeah. out. And then he eventually had like a heart attack during like an operation or something. But <laughs> RIP grandpa. But uh I don't know why I laughed at that. I found an article. It's my like dad. A dentist <laughs> operator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was, he was, <laughs> but uh, my dad just showed me this article this week from the sports page mm-hmm. in, in Harrisburg, and it was about my grandpa playing at Notre Dame, and he got a concussion so hard that his season ended. Like he was the starting tackle, and they were like, he was supposed to start against Purdue this week, but he's out. It was a career ending concussion. Mm-hmm. Wait, when was this? In 1938. When they had Holy like no shit. concussion rules, when they wore like snow helmets and shit. Yeah, but that's Damn. when they like had no idea like the severity and, of it. Dude, yeah. and I was laughing so hard thinking about how hard that guy's concussion must have oh been. Dude, they must have been at his funeral, and he woke up and like he can't play the rest of the <laughs> <Yeah>. season. <laughs> Seriously, but then it's like, all right, so now every story makes sense. Where he was like, "We got too many fucking cats. I'm gonna kill all these fucking cats." <laughs> oh, he got. It's like, oh yeah, he got CTE from the 30s. Yeah. Man. yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, think of it this way, man. If you're if you grew up and your dad hit you, your grandfather definitely hit your grandma. For sure. <laughs> definitely hit your grandma. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't, sure, don't want to put sure. that accusation out on my I, family. I'm just saying, dude. Like, I'm thinking about it now. I don't know why that popped into my head. I'm like, because my dad would, like, hit me if I was in trouble when I was little. So now, like, that's kind of not – that's taboo. My dad's dad probably fucking probably threw a couple – slapped of, around. At least a, a firm, like, up into a wall, like, no, get the fuck off. Yeah, but that that's true though, and that's also why women back then knew their fucking place. I mean, they dude, knew that that was on the table. Well, imagine well, if you went to the authorities. Physical <laughs> threat was a possibility. Yeah. Well, imagine like back in like the thirties, if you went to the authorities, like my husband hit me. They literally the guy would like shuffle papers, like, "What'd you do?" And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, "Well, you. I fucking." You're like, well, right. "A nice looking broad like you? <laughs> yeah. Come on, the cop, throw some makeup on you. The be cop all right. would fucking grip her and throw her against <laughs> yeah, the wall. Yeah. And be like, what'd you do, you bitch? <laughs> I'll show you how a real man hits a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man, that's um. I don't know why I started when you were talking about that. I was thinking about like just the life of an old man back then. Yeah, just like after work, you got home, you sat in a chair, then someone invented TVs. And you're like, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> then you just died. Then you sat in front of that. looked yeah. at it and died. That's like every old man. That's all they do. You go out and yeah. it's just like, like my uh, my 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 pop up, my mom's mom. Every he just sat in front of the last twenty years of his life, yeah. in front of a TV case of Budweiser. My dad gets home from work, doesn't drink, but he just gets home, hits the tube, and it's just he knows every single show that's on right now. Yeah. It's like you see blah blah blah. Yeah, you get home and you just absorb. It's tube. like what happened to me with FIFA. You slowly. I was you, out flying you in my life. Slowly <laughs> go into oblivion into the, like that was like you know we have cell phones. Everyone like why are we look at like that was the first thing that popped out the TV screen. People were like what the fuck is this? It's yeah. like a cowboy. They're like, 
Yeah. The guy, next 20 years of his life, he's like, oh, I have cancer, shit, and it fucking dies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's catching up. You're not even looking at it. I was just you're watching Cowboys. Yeah, time. you're just yeah. watching Cow. You're watching, you're watching Buck Rogers. Like, I you're not wanted... watching your left arm twitch for the past 10 years. Yeah. like, yeah, shit, I got fucking Parkinson's. Where the fuck that come from? <laughs> yeah, one day you're watching it, and you're just like, oh, Cowboys are on? <laughs> you're like, oh, fuck, oh, I got Alzheimer's. Damn, yeah, it. damn it. Oh, Cowboys are on? Wow, I never saw Cowboys. Yeah. Dude, my grandfather used to watch TV. He would eat. And then he would, like, from within 35 <laughs> seconds of finishing eating, he would sit on a recliner and recline. <laughs> so the food would never get com- completely into his stomach. And he got, like, such horrible acid reflux. And his doctors were like, you got to just, like, not don't lay down right after you eat, dude. Like, they was like, that's it. If you stop doing that. And he was just like an old man. He was like, I eat and I lay down and I watch my stuff. Don't yeah. tell me how to die on my own. Did like ancient Rome science in his mind. He was like, well, if you lay down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You're in line with the equator and all this sucks through your middle. Yeah, yeah, you can't tell an old man. Some old men have, like, suit... Have like a super like allegiance. Like my dad, my dad, or like anything a doctor says is gospel to him. Mm. It's like where I hear shit from it's doctors. Rare. I dude, it's weird. He's like, all right, doc, you're the expert, you got it, and he just like that's old, it. Old heads don't fuck with doctors. They'll be like, yeah, but True. I saw this thing on the internet that my friend shared with me. <laughs> that's how I am. Yeah, my, yeah. my dad's more like. Uh, did you ever watch Junior from The Sopranos when he gets the cancer doctor and he's like, you see, you got it, doc, you got it. Uh, he doesn't yeah. question doc. If they take him to tell him medication. That's in his cabinet, and he's fucking taking it the next day. That's crazy. My dad, my dad is getting cancer and just not telling us. What? Like what? he'll just come back. I remember one Easter he came with like a huge oh, bandage, skin cancer? bandage on his forehead. Yeah, uh, he didn't fucking tell me at all. He just shows up with his bandage. I'm like, what the fuck's that? He's like, that is fucking skin cancer. Yeah, my dad has that. Tell shit. me. Well, and I mean, he got I guess he got a he probably got a biopsy enough to know it wasn't a big deal. Right? He got cancer of. Not the pancreas, the uh, well, pancreas sort of wipe them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the uh, what do you come out of? Your oh, your prostate. Yeah, he had prostate. He got prostate cancer. cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and then another he, one. And then he got he got rid of it. Really? Apparently. Well, you know, it's a hundred percent of men will get it if they live long enough. Prostate cancer happens really? to every single guy if they live long enough. Is it? Isn't it from kind of like not coming enough too? Or is that just a myth? I don't, know. I don't want to put that on my dad. Dude. I'm not saying you got a kinks, you got a kinks comer. You get an old man coming too much. That's a good. That's. A good.